in addition to fresh bananas, another popular product is banana chips. Every day, factories buy large quantities of bananas from farmers. about 0 0.11, 1 to 0.19 inches thick. These banana slices are then during the frying process, workers must Bring the next one up, careful with the weight. Got it, almost there. Do you like to eat bananas? It only takes us a few seconds to enjoy a ripe, sweet, yellow banana. For a farmer, it takes an entire year of care, cultivation, and waiting to produce. In today's video, we'll dive deep into the process of growing, harvesting, and processing products from bananas. Bananas are mainly cultivated in Asia, Latin America, and Africa. With 13.8 million acres of land used for growing this fruit. Each year, the world produces around 135 million tons of bananas. holds the leading position for production, with 30.5 million tons. To get delicious bunches of bananas, first farmers have to prepare the soil. Ensuring an ideal environment for young plants to grow. Then, they will have to straighten the young plants and begin to plant them in the ground. The young plants are usually placed around 11 inches deep so that the trunk can hold firmly. Preventing it from falling when it bears heavy bunches of bananas. The distance between each plant is around 6.5 to 9.8 feet. This is so they can get enough sunlight during growth. In modern farms, a fine misting system is also used to help young plants absorb enough water. In the next three months, the banana plants begin to produce flower stalks and differentiate between male and female flowers. Farmers often cut off, off the bud tip and some parts of the female flowers. 
in order to help the banana cluster develop faster. The next three months is the stage where the young fruits form. The banana bunches are wrapped in plastic bags to prevent insect damage and to also help the fruit have a shiny, uniform color. At the same time, farmers also trim excess fruit to concentrate nutrients on the remaining fruit. Keeping the bunch neat, easy to care for, and maximizing productivity. However, banana plants are very sensitive to diseases and pests, especially in tropical regions. Where the humid climate creates a favorable condition for pests to develop. Diseases such as Xanthomonas wilt or yellow cigatoka can reduce yields by 35 to 50 percent. To limit the damage, farmers also regularly remove weeds to prevent bacteria from spreading. And enhance photosynthesis for the plants. Pesticides are often used to control common pests that damage banana plantations, such as aphids, thrips, and mites. For plants that have been already infected, diseased, or dead leaves are often removed. Or fungicides containing mancozeb or copper are sprayed. However, using manual sprays poses a risk of chemical exposure to farmers who are near the treated area. Therefore, in some places, people have switched to using an agricultural drone to spray. This covers a large area while reducing health risks for farmers. The growth time of a banana plant depends on the variety. For dwarf varieties, it usually takes farmers 11 to 14 months from planting the young plant until it can be ready for harvest. Meanwhile, taller varieties need 14 to 16 months to be ready for fruiting. When it's near harvest time, the fruit changes from dark green to light green. The tips of the leaves begin to wither and the flower tips begin to fall off. However, farmers do not wait for the bananas to fully ripen to cut them, but usually they harvest the whole fruit while it is still green. This is so the bananas can continue to ripen during storage and transportation. A harvesting team needs at least two people. One to use a sharp knife to cut the banana bunch from the trunk, and the other to support the heavy bunch of fruit. <sighs> On average, each banana bunch can weigh from 63 to 100 pounds. So some farmers often add foam padding on their shoulders to reduce injury when supporting it. One worker can harvest around 500 bunches in a single workday.
helping to get the bananas from the field to the warehouse quickly and safely. Immediately after harvesting, the bananas are taken to the warehouse for preliminary processing. Skilled workers cut the large bunches of bananas into smaller clusters and soak them in large water tanks. The small banana clusters are washed again to remove any remaining dirt or impurities. Pasa las cajas, por favor. Cuidado con los plátanos. Rápido, rápido. It can be seen that growing and harvesting bananas consumes an enormous amount of water. Each two pounds of bananas will need 105 to 158 gallons of water during the cultivation and processing stages. When the banana clusters are clean, workers will pack them into boxes. The bananas that meet the highest standards are selected for export to international markets. The top banana exporting countries include India, China, Indonesia, Brazil, Ecuador and the Philippines. Meanwhile, the rest are distributed to the domestic market, meeting local consumption needs. However, a little-known fact about banana cultivation is that each plant only bears fruit once in its lifetime. Therefore, after the harvest is complete, the mother plant is cut down to make way for new shoots to continue to grow. Farmers use a sharp knife to cut the trunk horizontally. leaving only a stem of around 1.9 to 3.9 inches long. For thick and tough trunks, a banana tree cutting machine must be used. The trunk is usually not discarded, but is chopped up for composting or processed into animal feed. This way, the process of cleaning the banana plantation does not cause waste and also contributes to the reuse of valuable resources. Creating a circular production system in agriculture. In addition to fresh bananas, another popular product is banana chips. Every day, factories buy large quantities of bananas from farmers. about 0.111 1 to 0.19 inches thick. These banana slices are then fried in hot oil at a temperature of around 356 degrees Fahrenheit. During the frying process, workers must stir them continuously to ensure uniform quality. After frying, 
the bananas are cooled and transferred to a seasoning mixer. Some facilities also use a centrifugal machine to remove excess oil and dry them completely. Finally, the banana chips are packaged and shipped for consumption.